it's getting worse. I wasn't going to make this video, but it's getting worse. So many of you know, I have a website and it's not a very good website, but it works. It has links to some of my courses on Udemy. And there's a contact page. And if you click on that, you can send me a message. And that's basically the best way to contact me because I get so many emails that I don't, I just don't have time to, to look at them. And it's getting worse. I'm starting to get messages from people who are having a hard time. And I guess I've always received messages like this. I've always had messages from people who are struggling. But I think the tone of those messages is changing. You know, when I, when I first started, a lot of the messages I would get had to do with math, learning, success. But now, a lot of those messages have to do with other things. You know, there was one the other day where this guy was going through a breakup and his parents were kicking him out of the house and he was failing his calculus class. And I haven't replied and I haven't made a video on it yet, but I probably will. But it's hard, you know? It's hard to answer these messages in a way that is helpful because, you know, I don't have all the answers. Nobody does. But I do have a lot of experience. You know, I've been through stuff. I've been in school for a while and done a lot of things. And so I guess the point of this video is to remind you that no matter what you're going through in life, you can do it. You know, I, I've seen people rise from the ashes like a phoenix. I mean, literally. People who, it's a little cold out here, people who have hit rock bottom. I mean, people who couldn't do any math and then they somehow miraculously come back and you wonder how they do it. And I think the secret is to dig deep, dig really deep. You see, the reality is every single person on this earth is going through something. If you're watching this video, you're probably going through something, something hard, something difficult. And so is everyone else, right? And so keep that in mind as you go out there in the world and you run into people, you know, maybe you're driving to school or driving to work and someone cuts you off, you know, take a step back. You don't know what that person's been going through. You don't know what their life is like because we all face adversity. And again, I'm seeing that more and more. It's like, I just feel like things are getting worse for people. Things are getting harder. You know, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if there's something in the air. <laughs> But I'm definitely seeing a lot more struggles. You know, people are really sharing their struggles a lot more. Maybe it's because I have more subscribers now and I'm getting more messages. I mean, I'm getting quite a few messages a day. And the stories. And some of them are good. You know, not all, not all is bad. Some people will message me and they'll, they'll talk about how you know, my video has helped them and I had one today. Someone was saying that they feel like their life is changing ever since they started watching my content. They feel like 
they're improving and they've made big changes in their life. And that's good. I, those are the good emails. But yeah, I just feel like, I don't know, it's getting worse. I thought I'd go for a walk and just make this video. It's cold out here. People probably think I'm crazy walking out here talking to a camera. But I'm not really paying attention to them. I'm just, just kind of shocked by the struggles that people are going through, you know? And I've always known that people struggle, but some of these messages, they're just so dark. I posted a video recently about someone who was struggling with ambition. And I mean, this person just seemed dark. You know, I had a hard time making the video. I was like, wow, I was starting to get a little emotional there reading his messages. And some of these messages, I mean, they just hit hard. So I'll, I'll try to make more, try to read some of these and put them out there for you all. So maybe you can provide some feedback because again, I don't have all the answers. And I know a lot of you have a lot of experience. A lot of you, I mean, some of you probably have PhDs in math and, and have been through all kinds of things in life that I haven't been through, you know? Each person on this earth has unique experiences um, and goes through, you know, different things. And so when you leave a comment and you provide feedback, that helps people, right? Because people from all over the world, I mean, all over the world, right? All over, not just the US, but all over the world will read those comments and it helps people, right? That's a good thing. It's a good thing to, to help people. And that's why I make these videos, right? To help people. So next time I post a video and you know, I'm, I'm replying to an email from, you know, um, Anit in India or Rodrigo in Brazil, I'm just using names that I, I see a lot. <laughs> Leave a comment, right? Because you can help, you can help those people. And people read the comments, you know? So when you leave something out there, you could be making the change in someone's life, you know, as, as Gandhi used to say, you must be the change that you wish to see in the world, you know? And with all the negativity out there in the world, I mean, there's a lot of negativity. I don't talk about negative things on my channel. I avoid, I avoid politics. I avoid all that stuff. And there's, there's a lot of it out there. I'm aware of it. I'm very aware of it, but I, I don't go there. I avoid negativity. I try to keep my channel, you know, G-rated <laughs> because, you know, I'm sure there are, there are some, it's not the majority, but I'm going to turn around here, but there are some, there are some kids that watch my channel. Not, not many. Most of my audience is over 18, the overwhelming majority. There's very few, which is interesting because I do get a lot of messages from people in high school, right? But that's not the, the majority of my subscribers are not high school students. <laughs> so they're mostly like 18 to 20, it's mostly college level students and older. And there's a lot of people that are older, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. I know some older people here on the channel and uh, I don't wanna say them by name, but I know them, I know who you are. If you, you know, you see me heart your comments and long-term subs, respect. And some of them leave really good comments. There's a guy, I'll call him out by name, Douglas. He's always leaving good comments. I think he's an engineer. And so comments like that help people. And so when you, when you see these videos and you see people struggle, just leave a comment, right? Say something. Because they watch these videos. These people who reach out to me, you know, they go to my website. I mean, the, the fact that they're going to my website, finding it, which it's a terrible website, and then finding where it says contact on the page and then, and then typing in a message. I mean, that's, that's multiple steps, right? Most people, you know, they won't even click the video. They're, they're not only clicking the video, they're reaching out to somehow find my website through a myriad of links. You know, I have a million links in all my videos. And that just shows that they're struggling. So yeah, anyways, random video. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it's getting worse. 
yeah, I, I, I was reading some this morning and they just, they were getting to me. I was like, wow, I don't know. This is just, I started making a video this morning, answering one of them. And halfway through the video, I was like, I can't do this. It was just, it was just too dark. So I, I might, I might make it again or, or I'll just reply to the person, which I started to do, but I thought, no, no, I just, you know, I'm careful about replying. You know, it's a lot of scammers out there, a lot of bad people in the world. I get a lot of emails. So usually my replies are video replies. But anyways, keep your head up. If you're going through something, just know that you are not alone. <laughs> so, there is some really, really bad stuff going on out there. There are a lot of people who are struggling. And yeah, you're not alone. Everyone out there was going through something. It's like David Goggins, he's a great, great guy. I've never met him, but wish I could. He'd probably beat me in a pull-up contest. He can do way more than I can. Uh, he always talks about that. He talks about how everyone out there is going through stuff, right? Goggins is right. I mean, you can love him, you can hate him. I don't hate, I don't hate anybody. I'm not a hater. I love all these guys. I think they're all great and Goggins is great. And he always says that, you know, people, they're all, they're all going through stuff. It doesn't matter how happy they look. It doesn't matter how great their lives are. It doesn't matter how rich you are, how poor you are. Everyone is going through stuff because we're all human. And just keep that in mind. Keep your head up. And if you're trying to do something in life, the secret is to dig deep and ask yourself, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it, my friends? Yeah. Kind of a random video. So I'll keep talking since I'm still walking. It's a nice night. Subscribe, like, share. Check out my courses. I've got courses on Udemy, tons of courses. They're all good. They're pretty comprehensive, actually. Uh, they're all solid courses based on notes from either classes I've taught in college or classes I've taken in college. All my courses are based off lecture notes, which makes them very digestible in some sense because I always feel that notes are better than books, right? That's, that's where books come from, right? Books come from notes. Most professors, they'll, they'll take uh, a set of notes and, you know, they'll teach for, I don't know, like maybe 10, 15 years, right? And then they end up reusing those notes over and over again for years. And then those notes become books, right? They turn them into books. So that's why books are so great. But my courses aren't books. They're based off notes. And again, my notes, which I think are very good, and the notes of some of my best professors I've ever had, one of which who recently passed away. I wasn't gonna talk about this, but my, uh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't. So maybe I should just end this video. Take care, my friends. Oh, and check out my books. Stay strong.